Great, so good morning and welcome to today's presentation as part of MIP Virtual Open Day dedicated to specialized master's programs. This is Eleonora from Doc City. First of all, I would like to thank you all for connecting today from Italy and all over the world. Today, we will have the great opportunity to experience the presentation of MIP Graduate School of Business specialized master's programs for which we have two very special guests today. <laughs> Tamayaki and Alberto Coscarelli. Welcome. Thanks. Hello, everyone. Thanks, Eleonora, and good morning to everyone. Great. So, uh, welcome, Greta. Welcome, Alberto. Just to give you um, uh, some information about um, the two main panelists today, Greta is the head of marketing and recruitment. She is currently chief customer management officer at MIP Politecnico di Milano Graduate School of Business. Thank you for joining us, Greta. Thank you, Renora. And Alberto is graduated in media and communications. He is a career advisor with an international vision, supporting students in their career development. Welcome, Alberto, to you as well. Thank you again, Renora. Thank you for joining us. Before starting our presentation, I would like to give you a quick overview of the agenda. So from now until about 10.45 or 11, we will have the presentation with Greta and Alberto. At the end of it, we will start our Q&A session. So if, you're, if you have any type of questions at any time during this presentation, please feel free to write them in the Q&A section that you can see in the bottom part of your screen. All questions will be reviewed and answered at the end of today's presentation. So make sure to remain connected until the end. At 11.30 until 2.30 p.m. today, we will have the dedicated one-to-one -one info sessions for those of you who have already booked it. As of right now, I know that there are still some slots available for dedicated info sessions on the master's programs delivered in Italian. So if you're interested in those programs, I will afterwards share with you the link where you can set up your appointment for info session this afternoon. Okay, so I would say that we are ready to start our presentation. I will now leave the floor to Greta. Um, again, please write all your questions on your Q&A section, and we will get back to you with all the answers that you're looking for at the end of the presentation. Greta, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you so much, Eleonora. Okay, um, so um, a warm welcome to everybody. So Eleonora already presented us. I just wanted to show you Alberto before he met all the students. He had still some hair. Now you can see after <laughs> the career advisor that he has given all our students that's his face today. Okay, just joking. Okay, so as Eleonora said, a very warm welcome to all international Italian students to Milan. So I want to virtually welcome you in this beautiful city that is Milano. Uh, Milano is a uh, like it's my city and our city, so we we love it. And why we do we love it? Because first of all, it's entrepreneurship. It's attractive. It's art and culture. It's fashion and design. It's also innovation and sustainability and a bit of nightlife. So we do say that our students also really enjoy the nightlife there. So welcome, virtually welcome here, and hopefully too we will we will welcome you face to face very soon. Um, where is Milan? So this is something important for our international students and this is linked also to our masters. Milan is in the region of Lombardy and just to put Milan into the map, it's among the most important financial hubs and home to several market leader companies. And why is that important? Because we do connect with a lot of companies and Alberto will show you what you do with them uh, during the master programs. And that gives you a, like an insight of how business sectors work. And it's also an ideal location for creating your experience in Italy. Just to give you an idea of the business uh, like bug that happens in Milan. Um, we are in the region of Lombardy, which is here, and the GDP per capita in euros is higher, of course, than Italy, but also of countries such as Germany, Sweden, Belgium, Finland, and the UK, just to give you an idea. So the GDP per capita produced in this region is very high because it's the businesses and the fashion industry and the entrepreneurial business and the industrial, really, like that you can, you can perceive here, it's extremely, extremely high level. And um, so the, the internal connection that we will have with companies are very high, but that's linked then to present the presentation of, of Alberto as well. Okay, so uh, talking about our school, we are the Business School of Politecnico di Milano, 
and I suppose uh, all Italians um, know Politecnico, but for the international students that may not know it, it's um, an engineer and architecture and design university. It was founded in 1863, at the time where Italy was just becoming a country, and it as its core in the DNA, the idea that uh, we need to help also the industries and the, the environment and the country where we live in. So Politecnico had the, um, uh, the, the, the insights from everywhere to train manager, to train engineers to, become, to, to construct the, the, the country. And now the business school is like continuing on this idea that we need to train managers for that. Uh, it's a very practical university. We have 375 research centers and labs. Just to give you this idea, it means that our professors are professors, but they do also a lot of consultancy projects and applied research projects. And that, again, is something that is in our DNA. We work with companies in order to make sure that our training programs are linked to what the business needs as well, to bring it back to class. Um, it's also very innovative. Um, the Polyhub Startup District is among the top five in the world, and that's not only for those of you who want to become an entrepreneur, but also the, um, the idea is that we do programs that are innovative and entrepreneurial to give you a spirit, an idea on how you should do business in a different way. Um, coming to the business school, MIP, where the master, specializing master programs are held, the business school was founded in 1979, and the rector of a time had a visit from some companies, amongst them there was FCA, Fiat it was called, that said, look, your, man, your, your engineers are great. They do great work, they are fantastic in everything they do, but nowadays we need managers. We need someone who actually can do work with people, processes, make sure that the business is thriving. So we send them back to school, create a business school. So the business school was founded in 1979 with some companies, and this is still in our DNA, and I, I can give you the, the business school as it is, it's one of a kind, because as you can see from this chart, for it's a consortium um, limited company, um, where 40% of the shares are held from the university, uh, um, by the university, so the university has a big say in that, but 60% are held by the companies that you see here. So these companies have a say in the way we do our uh, masters. When we design a master, we design them always thinking about the practical approach that we have to, uh, we must have, uh, thinking about the, the needs that employees would have to have, thinking about the new trends, what is the competitive advantage of having such skills or other Others. Um, and that's a peculiarity of our business school and it is, it's uh, in our DNA it's very very important so we kind of integrate the academic knowledge with real work experience from the business environment um, so these are just some of the companies we work with but they sit in the board so they have a say they all they have shares okay um, the, another aspect that every university and business school has are the accreditation and rankings. I would like to talk more about the accreditation. So just because to give you an idea, by being accredited by these guys here means that every single year we receive a visit, <laughs> a quality visit, where our students, um, our alumni, our companies, our professors are uh, kind of question about the value of what they're doing. And that allows us to complete, continuously in, evolve and change, and improve our program. That's very important. We truly believe in accreditations in the sense that we can have the strike to make our programs better and better every year. And then of course we're ranked in the Financial Times ranking, in QS, in uh, Ed Universal, etc. Okay, um, but now let's start the presentation about why you're here. You're here to, because, well, I'm, I was wondering, like more than 90 or almost 100 people come in here on Saturday morning online to hear about specializing masters. Well, I have to say, and this is something I say, this is great. It means that you, whatever, whatever business school you're going to attend, whatever master you're going to attend, you are here to invest in yourself, in your learning, in your career. So um, we need more of that. So I think these, these planet needs more people that invest in themselves. They want to continuously learn, want to improve their knowledge, want to improve something to probably, probably for a better future of all us all. So it's, a, it's, it's very good to see all these young people coming to connect today. And um, I'm going to tell you what our students, our prospect students, our alumni tell us about doing a specializing master. So why a master? Regardless then of the business school or the master that you choose, but like why a master? And then I tell you a bit more like how we design our masters. So um, for sure, why to choose the masters? Because you want to improve yourself, as I said. You want to improve uh, your knowledge, your career. But 
what we hear more and more and what we think it should be is also that you do not only want to be a manager, you also want to become a manager that innovates. So innovation is key today to change the way we do things. We have to be fast, we have to foresee things, we need to have a vision. And what, to be, what does it mean to be an innovator? It means to apply a practical approach to problems. So to think a bit outside the box. You don't only, like, you don't simply find a solution. You look outside how, what can, things can manage, be managed in a different way. What things can actually become a challenge and foresee these things applied in your business environment. So to become also what we say, an agent of change. That's something that you have to strive for. Not only to be a good manager, but also to be an innovative manager. Whatever you're going to do, okay, in any type of business, in any type of sector, in any type of function that you're going to cover. But also, we truly believe that probably you do, some of you for sure do, to have a role to create a better future. Um, like nowadays, the business is changing completely. So we need to understand the implications of our choices. So the understanding how our innovative impact has a, a, a very huge impact on the existing business and how we can become an engine of a company that does good value as well in the planet where we live in a sustainable way as well. So create a better future for, for the people, for, for your country, for the planet we live in. So this is something that I think every, every young people nowadays believe, truly believe in. And also at the end, you, why you choose a master to learn but also to be inspired. So that means that what, what you're going to do, what you should do is just to learn something new, but also to have a 360 view on how a company works, learn from managers and exper experts that they can tell you what they did wrong. Like learning from failure is amazing, like because then it's like the trial and error and engineering approach is fantastic in this because you just do make a mistake. You learn from the mistake and you continuously change in order to improve. So it's managers and business expert entrepreneurs can tell you, especially what where they failed, where they did well, how things work in a way or don't, don't work in a way. So you get inspiration. And that's something like listen to anything, anyone can give you something, an insight that is useful for you as a person and also as, as a professional. And of course, we, we truly believe in learning by doing. So these are the key aspects that um, and whomever wants to choose a master should look at as well. And we, we, these are the, also the things that, of course, we apply in our masters. So why a MIP? Um, so the first thing that, as I said, I tried to say in the first few slides is that um, we do uh, have a very practical approach. And this is something that you will see also in the slide of Alberto. But the first thing is, as I said, in, it's in our DNA, we do masters, we develop masters in collaboration with companies. So the nine international masters and the two Italian masters, that I will describe a bit later on, have been designed with these companies that you see here. So that means that they, how, what does it mean? They tell us like, for instance, let's, let's take in a simple one, luxury. Um, when pra we talk with Prada, Prada tells us what they have to do from a sustainable point of view, from a fashion point of view, how to compete in a very competitive environment, what type of people they look for, how can we design a program that explains and try for the value of the value chain of what the luxury goods should be and so with that in mind we redesign and design the programs every day so all these companies that you see here they come from consulting company industry companies company in the financial sector or in any other sector like marketing and um, they actually give us an insights they design the program with us and that means very a very master that are very very practical and um, we not approach to what the business would need um, of course, they do the masters with us, but you can also visit them. So visiting companies is something that you do in every course, in every master that you will attend. So you, you can go to visit the premises or companies come to our premises to explain what they do. You can touch really what their business, you can touch the products, you can ask questions, you can do business games with them virtually or face to face. So this is something as again, it, it's connected to the practical approach that we give. Um, and then something that you should always consider is the alumni community. Alumni are students like you today that <clears throat> have decided what to do. They did a master, they went back to, to work, and then they, they grew up and they want to bring back some of their expertise um, to the community. And learning from them that they've been in your shoes maybe like some years before, it's great, it's fantastic. They know exactly what you're going through. So a lot of our alumni come back to class to, to explain, to teach uh, to our students, but also they're there after for anything that you may need. So we have a large community, we have um, continuous learning events, international 
educational chapters and networking events where you can connect to the community afterwards for anything that you may need. Also, our professors are very available, I have to say. So this is, makes it like a very practical even after you've finished the program. The second pillar that we truly believe uh, um, a business school nowadays should have is the international focus and the digital boost. Uh, digitalization is something not easy to explain, not easy to implement. Um, we were the first business school that started um, to have an in, a digital master, executive uh, MBA in 2014. We were kind of pioneers. Everybody thought we were crazy. Um, but that's something that you don't do in a day. Okay? Nowadays, all our master programs, all our MBAs have a digital part. And that means that we redesign completely, first of all, our classrooms. Uh, if you see our classrooms today, they are um, smart classrooms with all the equipment that allows anyone that can connect in streaming or like through a digital device to have a real experience. It looks like you are in a class with other students, even if you are streaming. So you can actually interact with the boards by writing on the boards of, uh, of, of, the, of the class. But then we delivered and developed a platform, which is uh, it's called DHub. Um, it's a platform that all our master students use, uh, where you can interact with your classmates, you can have lessons. The methodology that we apply is completely different. It's not that you have a face-to-face -face class and you convert it into digital one in one day. No, you just have to do a different type of methodology. So our professors had to go back to class themselves. They have to learn how to do digital, um, digital le learning and digital lessons. So the, the digital boost um, nowadays has been proven very successful and very important even in this period that it's very particular. And um, so the digitalization has been brought to all our programs, but with a methodology, with a thinking and interaction, that it's fundamental for you to understand, to get the takeaways, to in the end being like a face-to-face -face program. Um, we believe in digitalization and digital boost, but um, so so far so much that we designed a platform that is one of a kind, and Alberto will tell you more about this later on. It's called Flexa. It's um, Flexa is a digital mentor. Uh, we use artificial intelligence with that. Um, it's quite difficult to explain because nobody, no other business school has it. Basically, when you become a student and for all your life, even when you're an alumnus, you will have access to this platform. Um, when you enter the platform with Alberto and the colleagues of the Career Development Service, you will do a checkup of your digital, of your soft and your hard skills. So it tells you who you are, what are your skills, what are your competencies. Then you tell Flexa, who you want to become in three years time. I want to work in the financial sector and become a marketing manager in the financial sector, for, to give you an idea. Okay, so Flexa, we just leverages on all the sources that we have implemented. They're not all our sources. We do believe in open innovation. So you cannot learn only from one business school. You have to learn from many business schools. So we have like um, agreements with MIT, with Harvard Business School, with INSEAD Business School, with the Financial Times, with many, many other providers. With all, you can see all the MOOCs that are, um, um, they are on the web, just they've been like, of course, digitally tagged in a way that are um, intelligently brought to you. And so you as a person, as an individual, given your strengths, given your weaknesses, given your goal, will get a personalized content update every day. So to, to become that manager that day, you need to study these things. And every day it gives you an update on what, how you, while you're doing, what else you have to learn. And also it connects to companies, but that's something that Alberto will We'll tell you more about um, uh, later on during the, the, his presentation. So just the, to give you an idea that digitalization is brought up to the, uh, like an algorithm that allows you to be personalized for each of you according to your needs. And to be, to be honest with you, we tru truly believe that learning is digital, but connections are human. Connections are great and seeing people from all over the world is fantastic. So we have a, a, an international network that is, um, it's funding every day so we have you will see all the masters with degree partners and um, in Europe in uh, Asia in in Americas uh, we also have exchange partners as well in uh, many different countries so when once you start um, a program uh, you will either start in Milan or in another location and then during the program you will uh, do semester swapping with other in other countries or you can do a lot of exchanges so you start in milan the program is in milan but you do exchanges in the uk in france in asia or in many other locations and um, so we have a lot of degree and non-degree partners and our students are highly international some of our master so I have 90% of students are no nationals, but like the average is 50% coming from 50 different countries 
and more than 9,000 alumni. So we truly still believe in internationalization and face-to-face -face encounters, even though digitalization is important. The third pillar is the focus on key up-to-date topics. So um, as I said, we have 11 masters that I'm going to briefly introduce you today. Um, they are focused focus on spe and specialize you in a specific uh, um, topic. But having said that, in all our masters, we try to give you an overview of many different aspects. And what are these aspects? So then we will see the master, but um, we truly believe that these that you can see here are elements and topics that you should anyway learn during your program, regardless of the program. So we talk about supply chains and operations, specifically in the master, but everywhere in the programs, industry 4.0, and also financial risk management, Financial risk is fundamental. You need to have an overview of what are the risks, how you can kind of interact with them, how can you fa face them and challenge them and um, kind of overtake them. Um, marketing, consumer analytics, you need to know the business that you're working with. You need to know your clients, regardless if you, you do a marketing uh, master or not, but you need to do the business you interact with. Um, FinTech. FinTech is the frontier, is the FinTechnology, it's specific for a master, but we see a bit of it also in Big Data and other masters. Um, energy management, this is specific for the Italian master that we have. Then we have luxury made in Italy, project management, that is everywhere. Big Data and analytics is a key buzzword, but it's fundamental. You may become a savvy of Big Data, but also you need to manage data every day. So you need to understand how data is important in order to actually decide what to do. We've seen it here, knowing the data, knowing what has happening or knowing the facts allows you to decide on which direction to take. It's fundamentally very important. So not only to manage them, but also to understand them. And of course, innovation entrepreneurship. This is something that is everywhere in our masters. So we, as I said at the beginning, we want students to become not only managers, but innovators. So innovation entrepreneurship is, uh, is something that is between uh, the lines of every master that we actually teach. Okay, so uh, the last part is very important. Uh, although it doesn't look like that, combining soft and hard skills is the key today. So you can be a super top specific person that knows everything about something. And so hard skills, you're great, but you need to have those soft skills. You need to communicate to people. You need to negotiate with people. You need to make sure that your idea, which is great, then it's implemented at execution means soft skills, means also like I have a plan, I combine my, um, my idea with what I can do, persuasion for also people, it's very important. It's not only uh, towards the external world, it's also in the internal company, uh, to make sure that you're heard, to make sure that when you sit on a table, you listen, understand others and try to interact. So the soft skills are actually something that the headhunters today say, that are even more important, almost more important than hard skills. They take the hard skills for granted. If you want to become a, like a fully grounded manager, you need to have hard skills. That's for granted. But you also have to work on soft skills. And this is something that we do in the masters and we do a lot with Alberto and the team of the Career Development Office. So you will be guided in the path of your soft skills. So you will learn how to present, how to manage intercultural differences, how to manage a meeting, how to make like sure that your team follows you. You will work also on your personal branding. I suppose that each one of you has a LinkedIn page. How good is your LinkedIn page? You ask yourself, you think it's good. Well, when our headhunters come and talk to us, they tell us they're not good. They're not good, they cannot, you, you cannot be searched. So what Alberto does as well, is bring in like managers that tells you from LinkedIn to tell you how to do work on your personal branding, how to make sure that you're seen. Uh, but this looks like a bit like, maybe not a bit superficial, but it's very important because maybe you are very good, but you also have to present yourself in the best way. But soft skills is also like team building and doing the projects together. So every single master, we usually see the masters have a core courses at the beginning, then you have electives and boot camps where you can choose and specialize a bit more, and then the final project work. That can also be an internship in a company. In this part, you practically apply what you've learned, but you also apply all these skills that are the soft skills in order to make sure that the project is conveyed in the best way. And there are networking with employers, career management and job board, but this is something that I will leave to Alberto for his presentation later on. But remember, soft skills are as important as the hard skills. 
Okay, and learning is also learning from your classmates. Uh, it's amazing to have in a class like so many nations, like today there are people from India, from Iran, from, from Ireland, from France, from the Netherlands, from everywhere, okay? Well, think about it. You are like, like you're all young people, so you want to have fun together as well, but you also can learn so much from others, from a cultural point of view, from a way of, to approach businesses, from a way to talk. Are you sure that you can say these things to, um, to a person from Asia and the same things from, from, to a person from Mexico? No, they're th completely different ways to approach people. Italians, they were very like, look at me, I use my hand so much. And then there are people that they don't like it too much. You just have to keep your distance. So this is something that it looks a bit superficial, but it's not because you learn um, to em like em an empathy with people that will be for sure something that the companies will love it. If you can manage to work interculturally with other people, that's the business future. So this is something that you learn in class with like experimenting and talking and having fun as well together or doing team building activities. So this is something that we do in every single master. Okay, now we come to our very long list of specializing master. I will give you a snapshot of them. There are so many, they are so long, and, but I will leave then the more specific questions during your Q&A that you will have in the afternoons that you already programmed with my colleagues. That is Luca, Alessandra, Silvia, and Martina connected to today. So in the single rooms, you will talk to them about your specific interests of each master. If you haven't had the chance to book for a um, like one-to-one -one session, you can still connect with us in the next few days, next few weeks. We are always available. Now that we are locked down, we are always available, even on Saturdays, as you can see, anytime. So just to um, come and to, to connect with you. Um, and we can go into more details. So I'll give you like an overview because there are many and they're quite long. Okay, so we have two masters in Italian, energy management and financial risk management, and nine international masters. They're held in English. They're partly done in Milan, partly in another country, or all in Milan with exchanges. And I'll give you the key facts of each single master. Before doing that, just an, an idea of our master students. So all of you are probably different in your age or in your experience, but like this is the average of our master students. So classes are, um, can be of 25 up to 40, in some cases even more students. But just to give you an idea, it's not a university class. You don't have 200, 300 people in class. You have a very limited group uh, that you can work with every day. You work on projects, as I said, very practical. You work on business cases. You, you dialogue with companies and ex experts from the business world. Um, the average age is 22 to 26, so you're young and strong and ready to learn. That's great. The ratio is good. 50-50 almost male female and we like that as females um, and almost 90% of our international classes are with international students so it's very diverse. Um, the work experience up to three years with an average of 1.5 and you come from all over the world so we have Africans, Americans, Asians, Europeans, everywhere. Uh, European it means also Italy of course so very diverse, very young, very the, the vibe is there that's why Alberto lost all his hair because he has to connect with all these young people that ask so many questions. Okay now just I'll give you like a snapshot of, of each master so forgive me if I'm going to be quick but we don't have too much time. The first master is the International Master in Innovation and Entrepreneurship. Um, it, this is a master for those of you, young graduates, who want to think and act like an entrepreneur, but also want to be an intrapreneur. So become an innovative leader within a company. This is very much requested by companies. They want people that have an, an idea that brings innovation within the company. So entrepreneur, or also want to launch your own business. Maybe your family business, maybe a new business. Um, it's quite popular amongst people that already have a business or want to launch one, but also innovators. It's 12 months, starting end of September. It starts online and then continue face to face. And you have two semesters at MIT and the final project work. Plus, if you want, you can do an optional year at WHU in Germany. Um, and in that case, you gain um, a Master of Science. So uh, all our master, um, our first level specializing master from Polytechnico, you get 60 uh, credits, ECPS. And then in this case, if you continue with via, uh, WHU in Germany, you get also a Master of Science. Uh, and the fee is 16,500. Then I will tell you all our masters have scholarships, but I'll give you the, the nominal fee that uh, all our masters have. 
big data, international mastering business analytics and big data, uh, very popular, of course, because it's to train the new generation of data savvy, so professionals that are able to kind of manage complex business data and analytics in order to make sure that the business thrive in a certain position. So if, if you want to, if you have a background in engineering, management, scientific disciplines on economics, we need this background and interest a lot in data, this is the master for you. It's uh, uh, in Milan. In this case, the partner is the company, it's IBM. Uh, we do a lot of projects with them. We use their software, um, Watson, and many, um, many, in many occasions we go and visit them. They come to visit us, so we design the master with them. And there are many other companies, of course. It's 12 months, starting in September online, and then it continues face to face. Um, the, this is my favorite, the International Master in FinTech. I truly believe in uh, financial technology. Fi FinTech is finan financial technology. So nowadays, um, if you're interested in the financial sector, in the financial world, you must acquire this type of knowledge, how to combine technology with finance, how to make sure that all the products are technology like driven. Um, so this is a master with many, many companies. Um, we have <clears throat> IBM again, but we have Intesa San Paolo, which is the main, one of the main banks in Italy. We have Deloitte as a consulting company with many other sponsors like Money Farm, Net Insurance, OKM Finance. Um, it, this is really for those of you who, have, or again, have a, a background in finance, engineering, economics, or scientific disciplines, and want to apply technology to the financial sector. This is going to be the revolution. The requests from companies, or people with the skills, is booming. It's going to be the future uh, of the financial sector. So if you're interested in that financial tech sector, you must consider the, the FinTech master. It's 12 months, you do it in Milan, but again, you have like an exchange in this case in UCL, London, a, a very, very fantastic university in London. So you do an exchange there and you see how they do FinTech in London. Uh, it's a first level specializing master from Polytechnico, 16,500 is the, is the fee again. Starting again in September with some online part. Then we have the Global Master in Industrial Management. This is the longest master that we have. It's a master of science. It lasts up to 22 months and you travel around the world. So you start in Strathclyde, uh, Strathclyde is in Glasgow in the UK and um, then you move to Milan and then you can choose the third semester you can do it in Munich in TUM business school or you can do it in Toulouse or uh, Beijing Xiaodong in China so you choose the third semester according to with the program and according to your desire and at the end you get a master of science from Strathclyde and a first level master degree from Polytechnico plus the degree that the different business school of the third semester would give you. Um, it's relevant for pursuing a managerial career in international manufacturing and services industries. Um, the fee is different because it's longer so if, a UE, if you are a UE, EU candidate it's 17,500 and from the European is 19,500 but we, again we have a lot of scholarships it's available and the main partners are the business school we do the business with okay so Strathclyde, TUM, Beijing, Shandong, and TBS uh, introduced in funds okay then we have IM4 this is for uh, the wannabe marketing managers so we combine uh, it's designed to equip students with the classic practical innovative developments in marketing but also with everything that is technology savvy and uh, with communication skills mark in the marketing roles uh, also the skills to manage CRM and in the end you're going to work as a marketing manager in companies that either are B2C or B2B at an international level um, this is again very popular um, it's 12 months is in Milan you start online and you continue face to face and our two semesters at MIP plus many exchanges in Europe and you do the final project work in a company. We have many sponsor companies here. We have IBM again, but we have Nielsen and we have UM. UM is Universal McCann, and McCann is the, one of the most important agency advertising agencies in the world. And we have many other companies that come and talk uh, during the program. We have the Italian way, the business way. We have different type of uh, electives that you can choose from. Um, so in order to make sure that your marketing expertise is put into place within the right sector. And this again, if you're interested in this master, it's better to talk in the one-to-one -one session to give you a, to have a better overview of how it is structured. Uh, again, in 16,500, you get the first level specializing master uh, degree from Polytechnico. Now we have IMLUX. Uh, this is a luxury management. It ranked very well in the Ed Universal uh, ranking. 
Um, this is a master that we designed with Neoma. Neoma is a business school in France, in Rennes. Um, and you start there the first semester, then you come to Milan and you do the final project work um, in, a, in a company or uh, during the, or, or, or on your project that you, of your own. Um, you also have an international study too in Paris once you are in Rennes. And it's delivered with many companies. This is like, a, we have Prada as main sponsor from, for the MIT semester. We have Tetanger, is the Champagne Fain, uh, brand um, in Neoma. And we have many other companies like Luxoptica, Vivian Westwood, Marnie, or to be. They come to class to give you a lot of opportunities to understand how the fashion and luxury sector is driven. So it's, it gives you an overview of the competitive structure and business models of the luxury sector. How, like, I always wonder because I'm always fascinated by this thing, why a Gucci bag is a Gucci bag and costs so much compared to a normal bag. So in, in this master, you understand how the value is created, why a product is luxury, why is this like perceived as a luxury item or a, or a, a luxury journey. Okay, so it's not only the fashion, it's m very much more than that. Uh, it's very interesting master. In this case, the only requirements that you have to apply is that you either have a, a bachelor of 240 ECTS, so it's four years, or you can have a bachelor of 180, so three years plus one year of full-time work experience. This is because it's required in order to get the Master of Science from Neoma. Okay, so it's an entry level requirement. You get a Master of Science from Neoma and a first level specializing master from Polytechnical. The fee is a bit higher, it's 19,500 because it's luxury. That's my, it's a joke. Okay, we do, okay, <laughs> but it's a bit more expensive because it's a bit longer. Okay, the International Master in Project Management, uh, very popular again, it's with Strathclyde in Glasgow again. Um, you get a Master of Science in this case from Strathclyde and a master, uh, first level specializing master from us. Um, it's 18 months and as the same fee, um, difference fee because that's what the UK do. Uh, so we have 16,500 for EU candidates and 18,500 for non-EU candidates. And this um, master, which is extremely popular at the moment, so if you're interested, uh, just for, for you to know we are few, few seats available, um, is addressed to all candidates aiming at understanding and improving the way we draw projects. So small projects, big projects, up to just a project to build bridge. Uh, so it's, it's very interesting and very comprehensive. Um, in the, it's 18 months with the final project, um, that you, an internship that you can do in the UK or in Italy. Uh, IMCPM um, is the master, International Master in Supply Chain and Procurement Management. Again, we've seen in, with the last latest development of the business, uh, this is again the future. Supply chain has to be rethought, has to be done in a very proper way because procurement uh, and supply chain are in, uh, an integral part to the success of any international business. You have to, you can work on the supply chain in order to get competitive advantage. So with this master, you get a very, it provides you analytical and quantitative skills to apply in many type of uh, companies, from in companies that want to actually improve in their technology, innovation, and sustainability business. Very important, very well done. We just run, um, we run it with Whirlpool. And GS1, GS1, the, the company that gives the barcodes, you know the barcodes that you see in, in any products, that's done by GS1. So they, are, they have many, many companies partnering with GS1, and they offer a lot of scholarships. Um, again, it's two semesters at MIP, and there is one exchange, which is in international studies um, at Rotterdam School of Management, which is part of the program. Uh, very interesting and very well done. And in the end, you also get um, a master that is recognized by the CIPS, so the Chartered Institute of Purchasing and Supply. And the cost is 16,500. It starts in Italy with the online part and then face to face. Okay, now I almost finished with all my masters because I have the two masters that are Italian ones. So the master in energy management, this is an Italian very well positioned again in Ed Universal. Um, it's, these two masters are structured in a different way. You have six months where you actually study in class and six months when you do uh, like an internship that is um, obligatory. So it's a mandatory internship in a company, in this case, a company of the energy sector. Um, BIP is a consulting company in Italy, very well known, and they have a lot of partners in the energy sector. So you can work in Enel, in Aidzone, in any, any, any of the big energy companies in Italy. And so the, for the first six months you study and then you apply your project and your thesis and also your work in an obligatory, uh, in a mandatory um, internship. 
The fee is 14,000 and there are many scholarships available. But in this case, if you're interested, you can book the session that Eleonora was saying in the afternoon and Martina will, be, will, be guide, will guide you through, through this master. Same for the, and in the master in financial risk management, it's in Italian. Same structure, six months in class and six months in a company, one of our partner companies. We have Intesa San Paolo as one of the companies. So again, uh, um, one of the most important banks in Italy and Medibanca, another very important bank, plus many other companies that they offer the project at the end of the six months, six months internship that is mandatory. Uh, it's 14,000 and there are many scholarships available and in both cases you get a specializing master degree from Polytechnico. In this case, of course, anything related to risk management, analysis role in the, in the financial sector, this is what it talks about. Uh, again, if you're interested, you can book a session and Martina will give you more details about this master. Okay, I think I've finished with all my masters. I um, just a few things about uh, how to jump in. Oops, <laughs> because we, we do, bring, we, you bring your talent because all of you have a talent, remember. All of you are talented, you have something, you can do a difference. Uh, what we do, we kind of help you to put it to work. That's uh, our aim. Uh, we truly believe in education. Education is a fantastic sector because we can see how people change and uh, learn something new and then go and do it something wonderful in the business world, really. Like I'm very, very proud of all our students. Um, just a few things about the admissions. Um, we, the masters are um, uh, available to recent graduates with a maximum of three years working experience. And you need to do a, like a, um, an in kind of an admissions process. So you send your CV for a pre-assessment. We tell you if you have all the um, uh, right requisites for the masters. As, I, as you've seen, some of the masters require some entry level and uh, type of degrees to, uh, in order to attend them. Um, then you submit your application to our platform, which is applyformasters.net. You sit for a motivational interview, everything is done online, and then uh, at the end you get an admissions and final decision. Decision. So it's quite smooth, the process, and our recruiters, we guide you through every single step um, uh, regarding the, the admissions process. Um, just to give you an idea, we have a many scholarship available. So we have scholarship for alumni who are Polytechnic graduates. We have um, Gianluca Spina Memorial Scholarship, which is, covers 50% of the master in supply chain management and 100% uh, for the master in energy management. We have GMAT-based contribution, essay-based contribution, STEM scholarship, for instance, for IM4, diversity contribution, many, many, many others. So just connect, us, connect with us and we tell you and guide you to that as well. I think I've done. Okay, I, did, I, did, I, did I do too much? No, almost. Perfect but, timing, perfect okay. timing. <laughs> Fantastic, thank you very much, Greta. I will leave the floor now to Alberto. Yeah, it's my turn now. So thanks again, Greta, for all the introduction related also to the career service, to the career development program. First of all, uh, nice to meet you guys. So I would like to introduce you the career development center and the career development program because we have changed uh, from last year, the, the program, because the, the new focus, the focal point are the students. So we would like to design for you, specific for you, a lot of wor workshops uh, and webinar and seminar, because we would like to become with you the career leader of your future. So the manager, as introduced by Greta, the manager of the future. So let's read together the MIP Career Development Center mission and vision. So our mission is to maximize in the employability through a career development program. So we would like to introduce to you also the three phases of the program. But the most important thing is that program is to foster the growth of the manager of the future, as introduced before. So together with MIP and with the companies that are partner and sponsor uh, with the, our master. So our, our vision is to empower the students' career management skills for building and managing the individual career path in order to improve the soft hard and digital skills. So who we are? The MIP Career Development Center is a team of career consultants. It's not uh, difficult to uh, recognize me because I'm the only male of the, of the group and probably also in, the, in MIP. So we are a team of career consultants uh, who design for our students a specific career development program that is integrated in the uh, master calendar. So uh, the same important of the uh, art skills, so the didactical part and the soft skills. So our objective is to develop the career manager skills, soft, digital and art. 
So let's introduce the three phases. The first phase is the self-awareness and the context analysis in which we would like to improve uh, several skills, such as the self-evaluation of the current professional profile. The second part is the analysis of the job market. And for this point, we've designed for you a specific uh, uh, workshop with Edanting and Edanters uh, Consulting Firm, in which we would like to introduce you also, also the context analysis, because it's very important not only to introduce yourself, but also to know and recognize the uh, part related to your specific industry and sector. The third part is the self-detection of development areas according to the target role. So it's important to improve also your uh, soft digital and dust skill through and thanks to the collaboration with the digital mentor that is Flexa. The second phase is the career strategy design. In this specific part, we have two different workshops. One is internal and is how to set your professional goal and is dedicated and designed directly from our career advisor and career consultants. The second is uh, with, um, with a, a specific uh, boutique consulting firm external uh, in which we would like to help and support you in the uh, job search strategy at a level that is international. So it's important to adapt yourself of strategies in case of any goals change and also to define a consistent strategy in order to pursue your goal. But please remember that your goal could change every day, every month, every year. So it's important to adapt you, okay? The last phase, so the third phase is the planning and execution. In this phase, we would like to plan with you a set of specific action in accordance with the personalized career goal. So it's also important to detect and, up and apply and adequate tools to pursue the career plan. So uh, we could move on and uh, go to the first phase of the self-awareness and context analysis. In this first phase, it's very important to uh, stimulate the self-awareness. And when we talk about self-awareness, we talk about the professional profile, so your personal profile and professional profile, but also the context analysis. So it's very important for you student to understand the art, the soft, the digital skills. And thanks to the collaboration with Plexa, so thanks to Plexa platform, we would like to analyze in two different times because when you will arrive, you will arrive uh, to MIP, we will start for, with the first self-assessment in which we will start together to work on the uh, assessment and self-assessment of your digital soft and hard skills. But after six months, we will have together a second checkup in order to review your personal and professional profile and your professional goal. So it's very important to use this platform in order to understand your strengths, but also to understand your areas of improvement, because it's important to mind the gap. So you could be a specialist, you could be an expert, you could be an entrepreneurship, you could be a manager, and you would like to become some, someone different from your starting point. So it's important with Flexa to mind the gap in order to find out what are the key competencies, the key skills in order to pursue your professional goal. So through Flexa, we could have the opportunity to have personality tests, but also psychometric tests. And in accordance with mm, this type of collaboration, we also have a lot of global networks in which you could use the network because we have a lot of collaboration with um, a lot of websites, external websites, in which we could use psychometric tests also for the preparation for job interview, because nowadays it's very important not only to prepare yourself for the one-to-one -one meeting in order to underline your strengths and your era of improvement, but also to underline that it's very important, the first step of the job interview, that is not the one-to-one -one meeting, but before the meeting. So something that is in video, something that the companies would like to understand before to meet, e meet you, okay? So it's very important to understand who you are. Okay, and the context analysis of your specific tools, of your specific areas, of your specific uh, industry. Okay, so the skills development activities of this first uh, stage and the first step is the self-evaluation of the current professional profile through what? So, for example, we would like to work with you on the optimization, the creation of your professional profile linked to the CV. So we have a collaboration with Vimo platform in which we would like to help you and support you in the creation and the optimization with our MIP template. So with Vimo platform, we would like to support you in the creation or in the optimization of your CV. 
The second part is LinkedIn. So we will host two seminars of LinkedIn uh, with a client success manager in which we would like to optimize your LinkedIn profile, link also with your CV, because it's very important to find out a presence that is nowadays important. So the CV is linked to, to the LinkedIn profile and also important to use a, a customized uh, cover letter because it's important to present yourself to the companies, not only with the CV, but also with a custom cover letter. So these are the three main points. The analysis of the job market, as anticipated before, we uh, designed for you a specific workshop with Ed Hunter, and uh, the um, focal point is that for each master, we have a um, specific uh, focus on the job, discover of your job market. Because if we talk about IM4, it's clear that we invite only ad hunters of digital marketing or communication. If we talk about FinTech or Mifrim, we invite only uh, ad hunter related to the finance sector, InsurTech and FinTech, okay? But in general, what is very important in this type of workshop is that we will talk about European and Italian job market, post master career perspective, the job search strategy and the tools that you could use in order to find out the best opportunity for you, the selection processes, so one-to-one -one meeting, job interview, assessment center simulation, psychometric test, and salary negotiation. And also we introduce you the STAR sequence. I don't know if you know something related to the STAR sequence, but only to introduce you, situation, task, action, result. Try to uh, always, uh, respond and um, have this type of model in your mind because it's very important not to explain I'm a specific uh, uh, career advisor with uh, problem solving, uh, uh, great communication, blah, blah, blah. It's not important. It's important the action. So let's keep in mind uh, the situation, the task, the action and the result. So the last point is the self-detection of the development areas according to the target role. So through Flexa, we would like to mine the gap in order to find out how to become someone different after our master. So we could move on in the second phase. The second phase is related to the planning. So it's very important this point and I would like always to underline uh, a specific uh, point related to this phase. Uh, we don't have a specific way to join our uh, specific role, our specific target, our specific main objective, objective in our life. It's important to have in mind our, uh, our micro objective and to define the macro objective and to compose the macro objective in micro objective. You could join your professional target in one month, you could join your specific target in one year. You could use different way and you, can ch you could change every day your specific way in order to obtain your specific goal. Okay, this is very important. So keep in mind, there is no only one way. Okay, so the program continues with two workshops, one with uh, the career advisor, so a specific uh, workshop uh, designed by us in order to set your professional goal and with the career angel, so a specific collaboration that we have with the Dunter Okay, in order to find out how to um, have a specific international job strategy. In order to find out, and it's very important in this, in this part, to design and to apply for a lot of and several companies, external companies. Okay, so it's important to identify the target, follow the company profiles on web and also in social media, study, this, this point is a key point, study the job description, the company profile and the career section, and also to identify the keywords in order to find out and to construct also your story storytelling. But we will support you with the job search international strategy. So the skill development activities in the second phase of planning uh, and design is to define a personalized professional goal, to define a consistent strategy in order to pursue the goal, and to adapt the strategy in case of any goal change. The last point is that we support you also with our career advice one-to-one -one meeting. So each student has the opportunity to have a specific one-to-one -one meeting, about 45 minutes, in which could review the CV, the tools, could review the job strategy, 
okay? And we also have the opportunity to collaborate with our career advisor, external career advisor in Paris. So we could manage a lot of uh, uh, career advice because it's clear I am the only pivot, the only contact point in MIP, but we have a lot of career advisor also external and also on our uh, global website. So we could move on on the last phase, in my opinion, uh, the best because it's the planning and execution. So great, I introduce you a lot of collaboration, networking with companies, a lot of company presentation, company visits, because we think that uh, in the program, it's very important to connect you with companies. Also because uh, in our program, we have the opportunity to finalize the program with a project work that is mandatory, but also within a company uh, internship, okay? So you are able to finalize your master also with an internship and to connect the project work to your internship or to your uh, job opportunity, okay? So in this process, uh, it's very important to train and implement the hard, the soft and digital skills that are obviously are based on the career objective that you previously defined during the second phase, okay? So in order to achieve this, it's very important to uh, support you with a lot of activities. And um, some example for you, we have, uh, as anticipated before, a lot of application and selection process. So we could use uh, our global network, such as job teasers, such as LinkedIn, but also other global networks, such as iGrade, WorkMS, First 10, in which we could help you and support you in your process and your job international search. Okay, in this case development activities, we will use a specific set of specific action, in particular with the networking with companies and the detection and application of other way tools to pursue the career plan. Uh, some example in order to help you, we design for you workshop with career advisor external in order to support you in the one-to-one -one meeting, but also we support you in the preparation of the assessment center simulation, okay? And we prepare for you uh, in order to um, connect you with the companies, company presentation in MIP and company visits. What are the key points of the connection with companies? Uh, first of all, uh, you could attend company presentation and company visit and learn about the employers recruitment programs, but also to learn the best practice of each industry, each sector, okay? And we use this type of presentation and networking in order to find out uh, and to apply and also to have network with HR representative and line manager. So very easy customized plan. So um, as anticipated before, in order to enable you for building your individual action plan and achieving a defined career objective, we offer a wide range of core and tailored activities. We could go, um, go on and we have now the Okay, this is, in my opinion, very important in order to have a uh, core vision of uh, the program. So in the first phase, we have the self-awareness and context analysis with Flexa that we use for the checkup two times, the digital tools as anticipated, the analysis of the job market through the um, workshop with Edander, and the CV construction, okay? In the second part, we will have a lot of career workshop, uh, in particular for the professional goal, to, so the set your professional goal, the one-to-one -one meeting, and the job international strategy. The last phase is the planning and execution with company presentation and visit, the job fair, because you will have the access to two different uh, global uh, recruiting day, one in April and one in May, because we also have the collaboration with Politecnico di Milano. So in April, you will have the career fair uh, organized and designed by MIP only for junior master specializing. And in May, you will have the international job fair and also in October with Politecnico. So two international job fair and one global, uh, global talent recruiting day in April, okay? And workshop labs and the application processes. So this is our career development program divided for three phases. We could go on now and, okay, only to uh, support you and help you by explaining you that our career development program, it's clear that is a continuous training. So our aim is to foster the student's development and training of hard soft and digital skills in order to achieve the career objective. 
So the process, but the whole process for the three phases is enhanced by continual training as the students. So you will have the, poss the possibility to attend a wide variety of activities divided from workshop, seminar and webinars. So I think that we, are, we have the last two slides. This is a resume. So the key skills and the key competencies that we would like to enhance and to empower during your experience to MIP. So in the first phase, we, we would like to work with you in vision and risk analysis skills, in the analysis and problem solving skills, in the self-awareness and context analysis in order to improve your self-development skills, and the problem definition skills. This is the first phase that we call self-awareness and context analysis. In the second phase, it's important to empower the coordination task correct, orientation skill, the evaluation decision making. So remember that we are now in the career design strategy and the planning and time management. We will finish with the planning and execution in which the main competencies that we would like to empower and to enhance are the inter interpersonal relationship and leadership and also the interaction and communication skills. So I think that we have now the last slide. Uh, I'm so proud every, every, in every presentation, each presentation to present these success stories. All these stories are real. So you could find our alumni on, on LinkedIn. So we have insert uh, in this slide uh, for each master or at least uh, one candidate. Okay, so for, um, for example, Renato Cacciuto Lo Passo uh, is now in uh, Bempe Paribas, and I would like to uh, underline and to highlight that uh, this type of collaboration uh, was born thanks to a workshop that we have designed during our um, similar workshop that we have introduced before, uh, directly in company uh, presentation. Okay, so after the company presentation with Benpe Paribas, uh, the company has decided to invite Renato and another student to a specific workshop on the innovation uh, path, and uh, they have decided to hire Renato. And Renato is uh, working also now in Benpe Paribas. Luca Busi from BABD, so Big Data, uh, is working for Amazon as marketing manager at Customer Experience. Thea Jorgensen from IM4, so marketing, digital marketing communication, uh, is uh, e-commerce in Luxottica. Florenza Gustafsson, I'm CPM, so the supply chain is now in Amazon um, through a specific uh, area, manage, area manager graduate program. Valerie Robertiso from IM4 is now working in UEFA. So I think that uh, you could underline and highlight this type of uh, professional achievement. So she is a management and promotion assistant at UEFA. And we have, uh, in order to finalize the presentation, Akil Thomas from IMIM, so GIMIM Global Industrial 4.0, as customer engagement coordinator in Yamaha. Ruben Martinez Pacheco in UX, after a company presentation and workshop in March of the last year uh, during the BABD Master. And Giulia Marcaletti from IMPM Project Management is now a process and project management specialist in Sky. And we'll finish with Oscar Guzman Grimaldo, project administrator in Mod McDonald. So Mod McDonald linked to Stratch Clyde School because project management, uh, as anticipated by Greta, is divided into two semesters, the second semester in Stratch Clyde. And we have this connection with uh, Mod McDonald linked to the project word in English. So guys, First of all, thanks for your attendance. I have uh, finalized my presentation. If you have any question, I'm here for you. And thanks so again, Eleonora, for, for this yes. opportunity. Mm -hmm. As you heard from, uh, from Alberto, finding a job is a job. So when you study for your master, you also have to study to become a better uh, like person in order to present yourself in the best way. And you do have to make a strategy with the Career Development Office in order to land into your dream job. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, okay, so guys, um, now we can open the Q&A section. Um, I see that there are already some questions that are, have arrived during the Q&A section. So uh, if you have questions, please feel free to write them in the Q&A um, that you can find in the bottom part of your, um, of your screen.
I can start going over some of the questions that have previously arrived. Um, first of all, I would like to um, bring up the experience. Okay, so um, talking about admissions, um, is the GRE score uh, accepted for admission? Um, it is accepted, but like we, you have to undergo anyway the admissions process. So an interview with us is requested. Uh, it could be lead to some of the scholarship that were mentioned. So GRE is very important to so submit with your application, but you will have also to sit for the interview. Okay, fantastic. Um, other question. Um, in relation to working experience, we have mentioned that there are some masters, probably merely one, that requires working experience. Um, so maybe I didn't explain myself well, like no experience is requested. Okay. A maximum of three years of working experience is allowed. Otherwise you move on okay. to an MBA or an executive MBA because then you become more senior and then so it's uh, more suitable for you to do other type of programs but no experience is requested. The only thing is for Neoma and um, mm -hmm. for Imlux, if you do not have your 240 ECTS credits, you okay. must have a bachelor plus one full-time year of working experience, just because you have to just combine the two in order to be recognized as a person who can get the Master of Science. This is a requirement from France. Sorry, mm -hmm. Nora, I have found an interesting uh, question yes. uh, related to the situation of coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, in which uh, uh, I would like to... Okay, do you already find, uh, figure I out any that. solution? Okay. Yeah, so okay. I would like to reply to this question because we are very proud oh. about uh, mm -hmm. what we have managed together So in, for our school. For example, we have uh, managed a specific Global Talent Recruiting Day uh, yeah. in virtual. So it's clear that it's something different for physical activity. But from the day one, we have changed our, also our didactical situation, our didactical uh, uh, moment. So we have changed and moved from a physical one to a digital one. Okay? But not only the art skills, so the part related to the didactical one, but also some, all the webinar, seminar, and workshop related to the soft skills. So we have changed our mind and we have changed all the activities, turned the activities in digital. Mm -hmm. And I would like to highlight in particular the career fair, because the career, the career fair that we host last week, uh, in which we have invited 33 companies uh, with 320 uh, job interviews and uh, yesterday we received two job offer so uh, also in this very strange situation because we know that the situation is very strange for everyone and this a worldwide situation but also in this specific moment we have a lot of opportunity mm -hmm. because we have changed our mind we have changed our activities it is very just, important just, to underline this point in my opinion. No, no, absolutely. Just to say like um, when the outbreak started, all our courses uh, were immediately moved to digital. So we didn't lose a single day. All the courses, imagine the business school courses and polytechnical courses, all of them were transformed into digital. So what we're doing, um, absolutely, um, what we are planning, we, we just every single day, we just make sure that our strategy is aligned with what the government says and the Minister of Health is saying. And um, so the programs will start with an online part. Some of them were already planned like that. Some have been switched to the possibility to either start face-to-face -face or online, depending on what is going to happen with the outbreak. But our program starts anyway, end of September, beginning of October. So we're going to face that. And the first part can be done online very easily because as I said, we invested a lot in digitalization. So it's like switching very quickly from one program to another. But the first part of the most of the programs are already online. Uh, but we are, as Alberto said, we, we can actually manage everything online. The virtual career fair has been a great success. I, I, I talked to companies at that and I was surprised to say like they even liked it more because they could manage the interviews much better. Imagine a face-to-face -face career day, you have a queue of students queuing up to talk to you and then at the end maybe you're a bit tired, you're a bit dismissive and you don't get the value of the students. With an online, the planning is completely different. You can do it anytime. So it stretched over a few weeks. It wasn't just one day, it stretched over a few weeks and that allowed all the students to have like 
valuable interviews and companies can have were able to detect the current uh, value of the students so it has been great so we're ready for that to answer your questions um fantastic there, that's great yeah. to hear okay so going on um i see that there are a lot of questions about mm -hmm. the interview and the application process yes. uh, in relation to toefl uh GMAT yes. is mandatory okay so gmat is not mandatory is gmat can uh, be like uh, a plus when you uh, apply for scholarships no gmat jury are mandatory so you do sit for an interview with us and you do the test with us don't worry if you have it it's a plus uh, TOEFL, the minimum is 89 if that was the question and uh, so you if you have it it's great but we test your level of english during the interview anyway it's required for ielts or is required for um, the programs that start in the uk because of the, the visa process that they have. Uh, but again, if for these specific questions, our colleagues during the recruitment uh, um, one-to-one session today or any other day, if you haven't booked, as I said before, you can book it later on with us and we are available to have one-to-one -one session with each one of you. Okay, they, we, they will explain you better the uh, admission process of each single master. It's slightly different for each of them. Building on this, Greta, do you have a suggested email address that the... Uh, yes, yes. Sorry, I was coming to this. Um, you can actually write to infomasters okay. at mip.polimi.it. Maybe we can uh, write it like in the chat, I don't yes, know. Yes, I suggest so. Okay, perfect. I'll, I'll write it here. Uh, should I write it in the... Sorry. In the chat. In the chat is fine. So everyone can actually see it or in the chart if you prefer. Okay. I'll just go into the chat and write to it. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, is there any other question in the meantime that I can? Yes, absolutely. There are. Um, so in relation to the deadline for applications, is it different for each master or is it there is one? Uh, the, the deadline for the applications? Yeah. Okay, no, applications are rolling. Uh, mm -hmm. At the moment, we are actually stretching the application process because of the coronavirus situation. So uh, my suggestion is like, because regardless of what's happening, the uh, applications are booming in. So we have a lot of requests. So if you're interested, apply now, really, as, as, much, as soon as possible, because the, the, the seats are, are limited. We, don't, we cannot have classes of over like 100 students. So if you're interested, apply, and then we process it. Um, so you have more time to actually know. But once you are in the pipeline, let's say, you're in the process and you can reserve yourself a seat. If you come too late, if you like come in June, it's too late. So just do it now. Okay. As soon as possible. Yeah, as soon as possible. Uh, but like, we're stretching it a bit anyway for visa issues and everything. I just wrote, wrote in the, uh, I think everybody can see it, I hope so. Or did I write only to the panelists? I should write it to all panelists and attendees. I'll write it now. Yes, okay. I can actually so see that, uh, it's for all panelists. So everyone should be seeing the email address in order to book a uh, future one to one in the coming days. Okay. Masters at meep.polimi.it. Okay, so we extended the deadline anyway, so you can continue to apply, but I wouldn't just wait too much. That's the only thing, also for the number of seats that we have available. Okay, mm -hmm. they're very popular, these masters. Fantastic. Okay. Um, other questions in relation to, um, I saw some questions coming up um, in relation to the possibility to work while you are attending. The masters is that something uh, it's that very unlikely very okay. because you have to work a lot you do classes you do projects you um, attend companies we would not recommend that you to work and study at the same time it just very, because these are face-to-face -face or like or even online but they're full-time programs so uh, i would not suggest that we never had anyone just during the mba uh, in the first part some people have actually did a little bit of work but was on the consultancy job consultancy job otherwise no <laughs> okay, okay otherwise apply for a part-time program depending on the depending on your age maybe we can discuss that in a one-to-one -one session absolutely possible to apply for more than one program Yes, yes, that happens very often. Um, but what we do, we do guide you during the info session. So before you come to the applications, my suggestion is to talk to one of our recruiters. So they will guide you through the, pro they, we make sure, what we want is like people that apply to the right program. Uh, is otherwise, maybe it could be like a not a very satisfactory experience. So before applying, but talk to a recruiter, we will guide you through that. And then if we see that there is an overlap, you can apply for both masters. But usually in the end, a person chooses just one. 
Okay. Okay. But we Is can there... move, let's say that you apply for, I don't know, uh, uh, FinTech and then you want to move to big data and the application is kind of moved to the other master, but usually we guide you through that. Okay. Do you actually accept applications from students who are going to graduate in the coming months? So yes, 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 we do. The most like for Polytechnico, the requirement is that you have finished your exams um, uh, before the beginning of the program. But we had many students who applied and are actually currently participants and are going to graduate in June or July. So yes, you can do that. Okay, fantastic. Um, I see we have uh, we have uh, some more minutes i would say so we can use uh them for the very last questions i see there are a lot of questions that are very very specific per program so i suggest to all of you to refer um afterwards to um so tap uh, perhaps a one-to-one -one session um yes we can respond to each one of you i, I know that we have a limited time so each question can be answered like it's better if you can write to informasis at mip.polimi.it and we get, guide you to anything and, and answer all your questions i see there are many specific questions as well so maybe it's a bit uh, <laughs> yes um one question general question is there an age limit related to who can apply okay. so what what happens is that the work experience is very important like we've seen too many people that maybe there were two senior applying for a junior master and then they're not being happy so what happens we have programs for senior candidates that they are actually are more suitable and suited for this candidate so we will guide you through that the maximum is three years of working experience but like if there is a little bit of overlap we can talk about it i saw someone who said it was 34 and uh, was doing some interesting supply chain for you the best programs would be the mba with a dual degree at mit we have a dual degree with mit in supply chain management so that would be the perfect program for you and we have scholarship for that uh, we have a coming up mba presentation on the 21st of may dedicated specifically to the dual degree with mit so i would suggest you to attend that if you write to informasa we get back to you on that fantastic um looking ahead um there are some students who are asking about the admission process for masters 2021 so not starting this September specifically, but the following. Okay, September, okay. You, can, uh, you can apply now and then defer to a year. Um, so you can start your, like we have students applying uh, for 2020 or 2021. So like either or, you can just start talking to our recruiter and we can just postpone then the application for a year. Fantastic, that's very interesting because now is the right moment to be in touch with uh, MIP and, uh, and then um, if you need or if you want, you can defer. Yeah, yes, yes, exactly. Great. great to hear. I saw that somebody was asking what is assessing the interview. In the interview, yes. we just assess, we actually check your willingness to do the program, like your background, what your uh, aims are. Um, it's more a motivational interview. And for some of the programs, there are questions, specific questions regarding the, uh, the sector. Maybe it could be something about data, it could be something about supply chain, just to check your knowledge of the, of the content. Uh, but they're not too difficult, the admissions process. It's just mostly to understand understand who you are and where you want to go and what you would like to do okay uh, I see that like there are questions about if you're an architect for instance what's your yes. opportunity in the luxury field uh, this is something that maybe Alberto will uh, answer but then what, like what we do as Alberto said uh, it's it's a very professional and let me say engineering way to do your career plan strategy we start from who you are and where you want to go and then as he said you may change your plan uh, you may change your idea, but like we accept any degrees, for instance, in the luxury for the luxury master. But then we make sure that according to your skills, according to your strengths, uh, you actually land into the job that is the good one for you. So there is no prerequisites for some masters, but there is a strategy that you implement with the career advisors in order to make sure that you are also satisfied with what you do. Correct, Alberto. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So it's very important what you mentioned. So the the first part when you enter in the MAP and your targets or your goals. So um, also during the presentation, no, in the workshop, so set your professional objective, your professional goals. Uh, I always would like to remember this this point. So it's not important who you are now. It's important who you would like to become after the master. Exactly. And within the master and thanks to the master. So 
um, no restriction related to architecture or other type of courses. So it's important your goal and the strategy that you would like to use in order to obtain your goal. And it's clear that you, we will support you in this. Okay. No, no, absolutely. Then I see many questions. For instance, Nicolò asking about yes. is the degree in finance. We'd like to know if it's better FinTech, Big Data or Mifrin. That's the typical question. So this is really, you need to sit with our recruiter and say, and like, we check what you want to do and then we will suggest you the best master. They're all good masters. They're all different in the landing in the end. So please do book a session with us if you have not have done it yet. Okay. Okay. Absolutely, I would recommend so so that you can discuss uh, on and a one basis. Regarding the question of what do I have to put in the university degree if in the application website, if I'm not graduated, there is the, the possibility to write uh, that you're not graduated yet. So don't worry. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Okay. So there are many other questions I yes. see, but I don't think we have the time. <laughs> yeah, we don't have the time, and, and and I'm scrolling through all of them. They are very very specific. So I would, again, recommend you write to the email address that we provided you with so that you can okay. be in touch with yes. um, me. Also, to answer someone who asked about Gemlux, Gemlux is another program, so write to us and we will guide you. Sorry, guys, I'm scrolling through the questions. There are so many. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, there are a lot, but um, again, it's um, some of them are already have already been answered. Okay, um, so others, others are, very, are, are more personal, very specific. Okay. I believe we covered pretty much everything. There was one more question, final question about scholarships. Yes. Um, can you provide a little bit more details about... Uh... Okay. Again, scholarship vary from master to master. So that's like, even though it looks general, it's very specific. So we do try to make sure that um, we offer some opportunities to anyone. So we have um, some alumni, some essay based. So you have to write an essay specific for each master. So that's why it's specific. You need to check which master you want to attend or GMAT based. Um, we do also offer a lot of loans opportunities with like, uh, we have an agreement, Polytechnical is a big agreement with uh, Intesa San Paolo, so we have uh, offer loans as well, um, or we have different type of loans. Um, we have Prodigy, Prodigy, Prodigy loan for international students that is working very well. So um, my, my suggestion in this case is really to see which master you want to apply and see if there are scholarship available and what, uh, like what they are. Sorry, <laughs> it is very specific. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, actually, it's, it's actually perfect. Um, so yeah, I see all the all the different questions that are very very specific. Again, can be answered uh, yes. directly in touch with the with the meet personnel. Yes, yes, and we're very like we're here to help you really. Like Absolutely. it's important to guide you before you apply so that you understand exactly what is the best for you. Okay. Absolutely. So um, I would start with uh, thanking you uh, first of all, Greta and Alberto, for joining us for today's presentation. It's been a real pleasure. We have had an enormous amount of students are following us today. Um, it's great, yeah. uh, from, you know, from Italy and all over the world. So it's great to see all this enthusiasm and it's great to um, hear and learn so much about your wonderful Graduate School of Business. Yeah. And good job, guys. Remember, learn, continue to study. You are the future. I really believe in it. So do that <laughs> wherever you want to do it, but do it. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Okay. Thank you again. Thank, Thank you. you again, okay. Eleonora. Ciao. ciao, Eleonora. Ciao. Ciao. Bye bye. Ciao to everyone. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Thank you.